Hello fellow duelists and collectors. Today I'm going to be showing you another uh, relatively older deck that's Hieratic Dragons. Um, this is also another that buddy from the last video. My buddy's uh, deck from back in the day that he's letting me preview on my channel. So I'll get right into it. Two blue eyes. Now I personally think that three blue eyes might do better, but it really just depends on the situation. But that's for starters. One Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, the Jump, Shonen Jump Edition, which is awesome, I think. For special summoning dragons. Two Wat, uh, Wat Tail Dragons. Um, it's a dragon normal monster, and it's a six star, which is what I can surmise from its existence in the deck. I think it's a logical play. Now, three Hieratic Dragon of Su. Um, so you can tribute a uh, Hieratic on the field to special summon him, so that's awesome. And then his effect, I believe, lets you tribute to destroy a spell or trap card on the field from your hand or on the field, so that's awesome for the Hieratic Dragons. And then with all the Hieratic Dragons, their final effect being that when they're destroyed, you special summon, um, or actually, no, when they're tributed, you special summon a Dragon-type normal monster from your deck, but its attack and defense comes zero. So... Yeah, logical card to have. And then three Hieratic Dragon of Tefnuit. Tefnuit is um, kind of like a Cyber Dragon, except for it can't attack the turn it's special summoned. And it doesn't do any destruction, destruction of cards with its effects. It only has the special summon while you have no monsters and then the um, tribute to summon a normal monster. And there's two Hieratic Dragon of um, Nebthet. So he actually focuses on destroying opponents' monsters rather than the spell and traps, which, I mean, really is up to you on how you play it. Is there something else? You can also special summon it from by tributing a Hieratic, just like the first guy. Yeah, and then he has the final effect of summoning the normal monster when he's tributed, so of course. And we have Curse of Dragon and Alexandrite Dragon. I think Curse of Dragon's sort of a shout-out callback to the olden days. And, well, it's a five-star, so that can be helpful with this guy and the last guy. So it really could be good for Ixie summoning, but that was his preference, and I respect that. Then we have Three Hieratic Dragon of S Aset. And this one's really good. I forgot, actually, what... Um, you can normal summon without tributing, so that's awesome, but it's original tax 1,000. Once turning you target a face-up dragon type and normal monster on the field, the levels of all face-up hieratics currently on the field become the level of that monster until the end phase. So that's awesome. So if it's a hieratic monster, it has a level that just, or it gains a level if it doesn't have one, or, or it just becomes the level of, what would be ideal would be like blue eyes, right? So that's why I would recommend three blue eyes in this deck for him to use his effect. And then we have Honest, because there's a lot of lights in this deck, obviously. And then three Maiden with Eyes of Blue, because of Blue Eyes. And honestly, it's a pretty decent um, stalemate staple card from the time. So it was logical. Two Hieratic Seal of Convocation. I would recommend, I think, three in this deck, but two definitely works. But three will just give you that higher advantage. And then... Two Heretic Seal of Supremacy, which lets you special summon a Heretic from your hand. Uh, I think two is a fair number for this. Two MSTs for opponent spell and trap destruction. Pretty obvious, pretty generic. Um, one Dragon Shrine for summoning out your normals. Burst Stream of Destruction, like I was saying, you should have three Blue Eyes in this deck for the sake of this card. It can be really helpful, even if you have a Blue Eyes of Zero Attack. Uh, Stamping Destruction essentially is another MST spell and trap destruction with an added 500 damage bonus, but is contingent on a dragon being on the field. Um, two Heretic Seal of Reflection, which is sort of like the solemn warning or more like uh, bottomless, not bottomless, just negate summon, but you tribute a Heretic. So it's helpful in the regard that it tributes a Heretic for you, but it's a cost to activate, which isn't as good because you have to give up a monster, generally. Call of the Haunted, uh, staple good card. Solemn Warning, also a staple good card. Uh, Dark Bribe, staple, just negation. 
Torrential Tribute, Bottomless Trap Hole, Compulsory Evacuation Device, and Mirror Force. Those were pretty generic staples of the time and pretty helpful. And then for the extra deck, we have the main overlord, you know, Hieratic. Uh, he lets you send any number of Hieratics to the grave to, um, what was it? Sorry. Tribute any number from your hand or field to destroy the equal number of cards on the field. So it's monster or spell or trap, so that's pretty awesome. Gimmick Puppet of Strings to destroy a bunch of opponent's monsters. Gaia, uh, Dragon the Thunder Char Charger. Um, he overlays over like a variety of cards in this deck. Gauntlet Launcher, the King of Atum, and Volcasaurus. So like any of these would work. But I'll explain these real quick. Gauntlet Launcher destroys an opponent's monster. Um, King of Atum is awesome and great for Hieratics. It, um, sorry, one sec. Detach exit material, special summon a dragon type from your deck, makes attack and defense zero, and it can't attack that turn. So it could be any dragon from your deck that it summons, so that's really cool. And then Volcasaurus, which is pretty staple, self-explanatory. A Granosaurus, which was another staple of the deck. I don't even know if he has three stars, actually. I mean, yeah, there, that is, I don't even know why that's in here, but it's in here. Okay. Utopia Roots is just because Ixies were a bigger thing at the time, and so this was helpful in protecting yourself from them. And then Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, because of the blue eyes, and it's a light dragon. It's pretty good. Anyway, that's going to do it for this deck profile. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. I appreciate you watching. If you did like this, please give me a like. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Thank you.